Hello and welcome to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Yes, since I've done Metroid Zero Mission and Super Metroid, I think it's time to play this one. So, let's take a look here. Okay, so we got a couple of save files here. Let's change that, which of course means that uh, headphones are recommended. Very well, let's go. I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again find myself on the surface of SR388. We are. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker. The parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had invest infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessels recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. Very well. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biological Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of the creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my parasuit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocketed the station. 
For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CEO is something I have I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is this is the second time I have found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Yes. And here is our new ship. Unfortunately, the iconic ship we uh, had in the previous games is destroyed. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Now, go to the quarantine bay. Yeah, as you can see, this game is a little bit more linear than uh, the previous game. Uh, because we have to rely on the uh, computer in order to progress the story here. But it looks the same. Well, except our appearance, of course. And um, avid CLG members may remember an iconic race which happened in 2011. Um, I'm not going to rush through this game though, um, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. And I'm going the wrong way, huh? Here we are though. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Yep, let's be careful. We can't open those yet. If we had the Morph Ball ability, I would uh, be able to go in there, but for now, let's just move on. Oh, hello. Well, something happened here, clearly. Quarantine Bay. Oh, hi there. Parasite! Hmm, yeah. Well, there's nothing to it to uh, return and uh, report in what we saw. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X stats, why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. 
You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now, get going. I have released the lock on level 0 hatchet. Look for the blinking hatches. Very well. The level 0 hatches has been unlocked, which means we can go in here. Ha. But uh, I do agree. Um, it's actually really clever of them to uh, have the X parasites function both as enemies, but also um, health and weapon replenishment. And we're coming up to another station. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Yeah, 20% is not a lot, but uh, it's something. So, let's go and grab those missiles. Well, download the data, at least. Exactly how that works, I don't know. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CO I served under named Adam Melkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Adam Malkovich. And of course, uh, during this point in time, Metroid Other M wasn't released. So uh, we didn't really know much about this fella. Well, we are uh, here. There's a refilling station. We don't need it though. The date the room is just ahead. There it is. Missile data downloaded. Hold R and press press B. Yep. Hold R, and everything will be fine. Oh. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles you can use a recharge room or absorb the special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. Don't worry though, I will use my missiles. Right now, for instance. Thank goodness those X parasites can also uh, change color and uh, restore your missiles. Hey, we're at full capacity once more. And of course, there are missile tanks spread out. Um, and also, 
one feature that's really cool, and it was the first time, I believe, it was uh, in a Metro game, is the fact that uh, secrets are uh, marked with a circle. And when you've uh, picked up the uh, missile tank or whatever it's called, sorry, maybe, uh, it changes to a uh, little dot, which makes it easier to uh, figure out which which ones you've already picked up. Oh, come on, this door. Stop being stupid. Alright, that's two. Hey! And of course, there are red X parasites, which will restore a huge amount of energy and uh, weapon ammunition. Hey, energy tank. Well, we are surely going to use it against this guy. Hello there. Hmm. You can just <clears throat> blast, blast him with all of your missiles, but his uh, back is pretty strong, so it's just best to take it kind of easy. Give me those, thank you. Oh, come on. There we go. Morph ball ability recovered. Press down twice to morph. And because this is a Metro game, you're gonna have to use your acquired ability at once. exactly hard to beat. And what's in here? Oh, recharge room. I might as well show it. And we're not gonna save just yet. It's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Psycher One shields several abnormalities on biosensors. Psycher One is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use Elevator One. Is your objective clear? Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing, I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the egg into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, and why am I going this way? Goodness. Yeah, okay. This though? Be acquired, and now we have 20, which we are going to need, I'm sure. friends was one of the best villains in the Metro universe without a doubt. I'm gonna leave it at that for the time being because uh, 
we have arrived to sector one. Quite a large place. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now, listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have not aided the atmospheric stabilizer. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now, get moving. Reproducing, huh? That is not good. But the rest of this current objective has to wait until next time. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.